Now, if you follow my channel, you know that one of the main missions I'm not on just for myself, but to share with you is always trying to find the best bang for buck. Now, this applies to everything, you know, not just from guns, but ammo, optics, accessories, etc. And I have always been this way. And one of the core principles behind starting my channel and business now, everybody's heard the saying, you get what you pay for, and we have all experienced when, unfortunately, that felt true. You know, but there's another saying uh, that I would like to coin, and that is, why pay more than you have to? And that holds true just as often, you know, if not more. Now, I've heard many of you over the years tell me in the comments, because I do read them, that I need to try Bear Creek Arsenal, BCA, and I was told that you get maximum QPC. Now that's my term that I coined and that's quality, performance, cost. You know, those are three big things that I'm looking for um, with guns. You know, for me, when I eat out, that's what I'm looking for in a pizza. You know, the quality, uh, maybe not so much the performance. So it'd just be QC, quality versus cost. Uh, now I was told with BCA that you get the most QPC. So here you go. Let's check out BCA 65 Grendel. See what the QPC is, and you decide what you think. There we got it. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Okay, now recently, I've reviewed several 6.5 Grendels from various companies. Uh, you know, I really like the caliber, in my opinion, on an AR-15 lower. It, it doesn't get any better than the 6.5 Grendel. You know, there could be a, a few disputes out there. So it just happens that I have the perfect optic and some match grade ammo to use to test with this. Now, before we get going, let's check out the specs and tech and see what we're looking at with the BCA. Okay, just gonna go from back to front and show you the BCA 6.5 Grendel with the, the right side charging handle. Okay, and we'll come back through here and I'll kind of show you all these things. So I'm just gonna give you sort of a glance over here of what it looks like, you know, so you can see everything from, you know, the muzzle brake that it has, the fluted barrel, you know, we've got the quick detach here, we've got the Picatinny 1911 rail up here, but then smooth, and we've got all the M locks, um, another quick detach point here. And this is our side charging handle. The BCG, now this is set up different, okay? This is not gonna have the traditional um, charging handle. It has a right side charging handle, and we've got a screw here, okay? We're gonna use the Allen wrench here. There we go. And then this comes out, okay? So this, along with something else here, is what's gonna hold that BCG in. Now, I need that in so I can break the BCG free. But then I also have this screw back here and I've got to undo this screw, okay? I have to take that all the way out. Otherwise, BCG is gonna hit that. So I'm gonna have to remove those two things to remove the BCG. Other than that, it's a pretty standard looking BCG, but how we charge it and how we remove the BCG is gonna be entirely different. Um, you know, there's advantages, disadvantages of this. Um, you know, some people like having a right-sided charging handle. Um, it's a little bit easier with gloves or with an optic. Um, you know, I'll be honest, it, it's not my preference, okay? I don't wanna have to remove the screws um, to get that out. And there are, you know, other things that I can do with the charging handle with an optic. But anyway, it's a variation. Um, 
And that's what this uses. And it's gonna be up to you whether you like that or not. So my 6.5 Grendel upper did come as a complete rifle. So I just wanted to show you what I, I'm assuming is, is their sort of standard lower. Um, you know, it, it's, it's simple, guys. It's KISS, nothing fancy, you know, pretty heavy, just block style, um, you know, nothing in particular, no ambidextrous, but just, you know, a standard furniture. I will say, you know, the trigger is what I would deem a very typical, classic, mil-spec, um, hard-hitting, you know, exactly what you would expect um, and just a simple lower. Um, and, and that's it. Okay, now I have to be honest. When I first got this, I wanted to put it on a lower that has a custom trigger because I'm wanting to show what is the maximum capability for accuracy out of the barrel and the upper. I mean, you know, with the lowers, they're modulars, you know, we can swap triggers and we can do stuff like that if we don't like it. Now, what I discovered is, is that it didn't fit hardly any of the lowers um, that I had, not without tapping the pin in, um, and even then a few wouldn't, and without some force. Now, so as I was going back to specify in the review, and I was going to compile a list for you of which lowers it did fit and which it didn't, the interesting thing was is now that I'd fired several hundred rounds through it and got the rest of the re review done, um, pretty much all the lowers that were either really tight or didn't fit now fit. So, yeah, I I'm not sure what to say, but... Um, but they're fitting. And the vast majority of them, I, I don't need a punch or anything else. I can use my fingers. Now, what was that list? I had a couple of PSA AR-15 lowers, uh, you know, the PA-15 multi-cal. You know, one didn't and still doesn't. I had an old Bushmaster that, that wouldn't fit on, that does now. I had my Springfield that came with my St. Edge, uh, and that didn't, but it does now. My Radical Firearms, it didn't then but it does now, and I had, you know, the Ruger, and it didn't, but it does now. So, for shooting groups and accuracy, you know, I do have a lower that I did put it on um, that has a trigger tech diamond in it, I think. I can't remember for sure, but it is a trigger tech, and the reason I like that is when I'm testing groups, and especially with a 6.5 Grendel, I want, like I said, maximum accuracy out of this, so I want about a two pound pull. I want a super crazy reset. Okay, so I showed you the lower that came with it. You know, pretty standard, uh, looks mil spec, at least feels mil spec. Let's see what I was able to do with the groups, with a custom lower, with, in my opinion, the best trigger that you can get. And then I've also got this primary arms optic doing a separate review, so, yeah, I, I got some pretty sweet accessories for this review. Okay, so we're just gonna run through some of the different ammo. So we're gonna start on that bottom row and work our way across. You know, we'll start off with some, some Wolf and then some Wolf Gold and some Federal. And we'll go to Hornady and then the Hornady Black. And then we've got Hornady. This will be kind of up top, but I'll show you. Um, that's the American Gunner. Anyway, let's just see, you know, what kind of groups we can get with the different ammo and loads. Okay, let's just show you what we're seeing, our field of view through the scope. Okay, so we're just going to get started here. I've got the Wolf Military Classic. Uh, we're at 100 yards. I was zeroed for... We got zeroed on the Wolf Gold. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, let's see how it handles, you know, the the cheap military classic. That was right in the bullseye. All right. Kind of a spread out, you know, first two shots were right in. 
and we kind of moved to the right and then we came back and you know kind of the final group if we get rid of some flyers it's not too bad now what I'm going to do in between each of these groups is I'm going to take this inside and I'm going to cool it off for 10 minutes between each of the groups and hopefully get that barrel down to basically room temp is which is what I started this group with That was actually a pretty sweet group considering what we're using. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button, keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Only had four left of that, so that was the best I could do. There we go, is what it is. Okay, so in previous reviews, this is where I've gotten the best groups with the Hornady Black. So let's just uh, give this a go. All right, let's just go take a look at the groups. All right, so if I remember correct, this was our Wolf Military Classic. You know, the first two shots, cold barrel, it, it did like a cold barrel because the first two shots, first several there, and then it strung over here, and then it kind of came back, you know. So if you got rid of those three, you know, not super terrible group. Um, that was actually really impressive with the Wolf Gold. Um, you know, I had 10 shots that I could do with each of those. Um, that was the, I think, the, the Federal. Anyway, we'll have to take a look. And, you know, that's, that's a pretty decent group. That was the Hornady. I only had four shots left, guys. Sorry, but uh, that's actually not what I was quite expecting. Um, and then that was the the American Gunner, and that's you know again, it's a respectable group. Um, you decide what you think. This is the one that surprised me. Um, usually, I get a lot tighter group with that, but. Um, you know, the first several shots, again, it does seem to like cold bore. I believe every one of these with cold bore pretty much hit the bullseye and then, uh, and then started drifting. Anyway, you know, there we are. It is what it is. You decide what you think. 
Okay, guys. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. This is a 6.5 Grendel, and that's at 100 yards. Um, I've got a match trigger, and i got some match ammo. So, you know, I, I'm not going to say anything more other than, you know, check out some of the videos that I've done, um, some others out there, and you decide what you think if that is acceptable to you for, for the groups. Okay, now real quick on that note, because I did talk about QPC at the time of doing this video, um, this upper was on sale, I think, for $260. So, again, um, you know, you take everything, put it together, and you decide what you think. Now, no review is complete without banging on some steel up there on the hill. Okay, real quick here, we got a beautiful morning, no wind. Uh, let's just reach out at some distance, have a little fun. We'll reach, I'm gonna just start right at 500 um, because, you know, we're banging on the steel at 500 and that, that pretty much makes it pretty simple. Let's see how fast we can, we can get them on target and, you know, make that steel sing up there at 500. Wow, not having much luck here. All right, let's try 400. All right. Huh, not sure where we're at. Hmm. Okay, so we seem to be pretty much dead on at a hundred here. Um, Not sure where I'm at with the bullet drop compensator. Let's uh, try a little more here. Let's try again at uh, 400. All right. Okay, I think it's dropping a little more than I anticipated. Um, so I had to take the, the 400 line and actually move it to the top of the target. Um, I guess uh, going a little bit slower, dropping a little more. So let's, uh, let's reload and try one more time up there at 500. Okay, guys, here we go, 500. Let's uh, think I was aiming low last time. There we got it. All right, guys, there you go. It is what it is. You decide what you think. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel.
be sure and hit that subscribe button because it really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, you know, every time we're out at the range and we're getting trigger time, we are ambassadors for the Second Amendment, which means we really need to be good ambassadors, be a safe and responsible gun owner.